The port city of Lagos in Nigeria is an economically developed area in the country and is also a famous blocked city in West Africa. Many problems, such as the concentrated urban population, backward cargo handling capacity of port terminals, long import and export times, and high costs, have long plagued urban development. As Africa's largest economy, Nigeria's economic growth has achieved world-renowned achievements. However, in the past 30 years, except for some private ports, the Nigerian government has not carried out new port construction. With the rapid development of foreign trade, the country's port handling capacity is seriously insufficient. Lekki Port has finally arrived amidst the long-awaited expectations of the Nigerian people. As Nigeria's first modern deep water port, Lekki Port was built by China Harbor Engineering Company, limited with a total investment of 1.044 billion US dollars. The project will start in June 2020, be completed in October 2022, and officially open for port operation in early 2023. According to the Deep Water Port Plan, it will become Nigeria's first deep water port, one of the largest deep water ports in West Africa, and is expected to become a container transportation hub for African countries. Why is the Lekki Deep Sea Port so important? In this video, let us learn more about it. For a long time, Lagos, Africa's largest single city and the economic center of Nigeria, Africa's largest economy, has suffered from serious shortages of terminal facilities in various port areas. The water depth of the harbor is only 12 meters, and it can only accommodate small cargo ships carrying a maximum of 4,000 TEUs. The conditions of the rear collection and distribution system are limited, resulting in low loading and unloading efficiency, long import and export time of goods, and increased costs. However, since the ports of Lagos are located in urban areas, there is no room for land expansion. It not only aggravates traffic congestion in cities and port areas and reduces people's quality of life, but also severely limits Nigeria's overall import and export trade and economic development. The construction of the Lekki Deep Water Port is a key node for Nigeria's economic development. Analysis by multiple agencies pointed out that the cost of shipping cargo to and from Nigerian ports is quite expensive. An October 2018 analysis report by MoverDB, an international transportation industry information website pointed out that the cost of transporting 20-foot and 40-foot containers from New York to Lagos State, Nigeria, is the highest in the world. Among them, the cost of transporting a 20-foot container from New York to Apapa Port in Nigeria is approximately 4,982 US dollars, and under the same conditions, it only costs 2,542 US dollars to transport a 20-foot container to Cape Town port in South Africa. This current situation stems from the inefficiency caused by insufficient port infrastructure in Nigeria. Congestion is very common in ports in Lagos State. In order to relieve the logistics pressure on Apapa port, which carries about 85% of Nigeria's shipping capacity, and Tinkan port, the Nigerian government has set its sights on the Lekki Peninsula in Lagos, which has a long coastline. It is planned to build it into a new shipping hub in Africa. As early as around 2002, Nigeria began to promote the Lekki Deep Water Port project. At that time, the Lagos state government purchased land for the project. In April 2011, the Lekki Deepwater Port Project Company was awarded a 45-year concession right by the Nigerian Ports Authority to develop and operate the project. At that time, China Harbor Engineering Company Limited had not yet intervened 
and the controlling shareholder of the project company was Tolaram Group, a company born in Indonesia and headquartered in Singapore. China Harbor has officially intervened in investment since 2017 and finally successfully obtained a commercial loan of $629 million from China Development Bank. The first largest port project in Nigeria controlled by a Chinese enterprise and financed by a Chinese financial institution was launched, becoming the first port project in Africa for which China Harbor Engineering Company Limited provides integrated investment, construction and operation services. According to the Deep Water Port Planning, it is designed as a third phase project. This financing is a first phase project. Two container berths are set up, with a water depth of 16.5 meters, a total length of 680 meters, a yard area of 47 hectares, and a channel length of approximately 9 kilometers. It is capable of berthing fifth generation container ships, with a maximum capacity of 18,000 TEUs at a time and an annual throughput of approximately 1.2 million TEUs. It will become Nigeria's first deep water port, one of the largest deep water ports in West Africa, and is expected to become a container transportation hub for African countries. After the completion of Leki Port, it will greatly increase the container throughput capacity of the Western Nigeria Port Group, alleviate traffic congestion in cities and port areas, and reduce international trade logistics costs. At the same time, in terms of regional integrated construction, Leki Port will also drive the rear, especially the construction of the Leki Free Trade Zone controlled by China Civil Engineering Group. It will promote the linkage of the port area and accelerate the rapid development of the regional economy. In order to achieve the goal of the Nigerian federal government's three networks and one integration, that is, the railway network, the road network, the regional aviation network, and industrialization. It is estimated that as the largest deep water port in West Africa, Leki Port can drive approximately 360 billion US dollars in GDP growth, create 170,000 jobs, and bring in commercial income of 158 billion US dollars during the next 45 years of concession period. It is worth noting that the project has played an important demonstration role in China's external third-party market cooperation. In terms of investment, it is a joint venture between China Harbor Engineering Company, the Lagos State Government, the Port Authority of the Federal Government of Nigeria and Tolaram Company of Singapore. The total investment is 1.043 billion US dollars. China Harbor Engineering Company Limited accounts for approximately 52.5% and is the largest shareholder of the project. As China Harbor's first port project implemented with an integrated investment, construction and operation model and controlled investment, the construction and operation of Leki Port demonstrates the full value chain management concept and full industry chain service capabilities of Chinese enterprises in the port field. The integrated model of investment, construction and operation is improving the integration capabilities of Chinese enterprises throughout the industry chain. On the one hand, we are making breakthroughs at the front end of the industrial chain and are gradually moving towards a path that combines construction capabilities with planning capabilities, technology, capital and comprehensive management capabilities. On the other hand, it is expanding to the back end of the industrial chain and gradually moving towards the path of combining investment and construction with asset operations. Under the guidance of the Belt and Road concept, the construction and operation of Leki Port brought together five parties and four countries to fully implement the concept of mutual benefit and win-win. 
According to reports, during the construction phase, the Lecky Port project construction adopts the EPC General Contracting Contract Model. The general contractor is China Harbor Lagos Free Trade Zone Company, and the project company hired International Engineering Consulting Company WSP as project supervisor. During the operation phase, China, France and Nigeria cooperated closely. The Nigerian government is responsible for public works maintenance, pilot tug services, etc. The project company is responsible for completing container terminal construction and development, asset management and maintenance, berth marketing, port supporting services, external relationship maintenance, etc. The operating company jointly owned by China Harbor Engineering Company and CMA CGM is responsible for the daily operation and management of the port. Since its inception, the Lecky Port Project has directly employed more than 3,000 international and local employees from 14 countries including China, Nigeria, the United Kingdom, France, the Netherlands, India, and Pakistan. Lekki Port is the first port in Nigeria to obtain international transshipment qualifications and carry out transshipment business. Lekki Port will significantly improve Nigeria's cargo throughput capacity, promote China-Nigeria production capacity cooperation, and demonstrate the bright prospects for China and Africa to jointly build the Belt and Road. In the future, Nigeria will be able to rely on the Lekki Deep Water Port to extend to the Atlantic Ocean through the Gulf of Guinea. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.